uh, you may have been passive for years at this point, but uh, change it. Uh, put put away the idols. Uh, it, there is probably it's probably not too late. Uh, you you can take that um, that that and even use that as a, a, a testimony to God's grace and His faithfulness. Yes, I I've been absent for years, um, but God has changed my heart in this, and I want to I want to follow the Lord and in, in leading in worship and being more active and proactive in teaching the Word and and in leading you to know God. Um, so the, the the real message message to passive fathers is uh, you, you can change, uh, you can uh, change the the pattern that you've uh, started, maybe even the pattern that your father set for you. Um, God's grace is sufficient; He can change you, and He can redeem even many lost years uh, of idleness and passivity. That that can be be changed, um, and you can. Uh, write the the course and you can change paths and get back onto a, a, a better course of action where you're being active in your family and leading in worship and teaching them the word of God. Uh, just because you're in this pattern right now, you're in this rut of passivity, doesn't mean you have to stay there. God calls his people to do certain things that are often uncomfortable, things that we don't naturally want to do. But when God calls his people to do these things, we also have the promise that he'll equip us and enable us to do them. So God's commands, uh, they're, they're not burdensome. So when scripture tells us that we're to teach our children in all these circumstances in the home, uh, it's not an impossibility. It's easier to not do it, but uh, God is going to give you the grace and the ability to do it. Um, so trust in the Lord, rely on his grace, rely on the strength that he supplies to come out of that rut of passivity to really become active and a uh, to take up this mission that God has called you to embark on to to teach and to um, to equip your your children uh, it, it, it's it's not too late really